Hello everybody! Today I'm excited to present to you one of the most fascinating creatures in Greek mythology, the Chimera. This legendary monster has been the subject of countless stories, art and popular culture for centuries. In this video we will explore the history and mythology surrounding the Chimera, as well as its various depictions in art and literature. So, join me on this journey as we delve into the world of the Chimera and discover what makes this creature so captivating. The Chimera was a terrifying creature from Greek mythology that could breathe fire and was a combination of three animals that formed a single beast. The main body of the beast was that of a lioness, possessing her speed and strength. It also had a goat's head in the middle of its back and a serpent's tail with a snake's head at the end. Not only did the Chimera look terrifying and hideous, but in Greek mythology it was considered a dangerous enemy in battle. With the ability to breathe fire through the lioness head, the Chimera was a beast that attacked from a distance, keeping the attacker at bay due to its fiery breath. The intense heat generated by the Spitfire was so great that it could melt the armour and weapons of the fighters. These abilities made this legendary creature a dangerous enemy for anyone who dared to attack it. The lioness limbs were so strong that they had the ability to tear enemies apart with their claws, just like giant felines. The Chimera had exceptional speed, running faster than any human. To be able to escape from it, or catch up to it, the hero had to ride a horse that was faster than a lion. The Chimera's serpent tail was designed to inject a highly poisonous venom that paralysed enemies before they were torn apart. Any creature in battle with the Chimera had to be aware of these three abilities of the monster, and to be alert at all times during the battle. In Greek mythology, it is said that the Chimera was born from the fires of the Chimera mountain in ancient Lycia, south of Turkey. The story says, on Mount Chimera, where the flames are spewed, it is said that the Chimera was born. Greek mythology tells us that the Chimera was actually female, though at first glance, the mane around her head would be of a lion. The fact that it is a female emerges from the fact that its ears were not covered by the mane, as is the case with lions. Its name actually comes from its third head, the goat head, the Chimera was known as Chimera, which in Greek means goat. Legends tell us that the Chimera met its end when Bellerophon was asked by King Iobates of Lycia to get rid of the Chimera once and for all. Bellerophon was a Greek hero who appears in legends as a friend of Perseus and was considered a monster killer and had all the necessary abilities to fight the Chimera. He even rode a Pegasus, a mythical winged horse. He flew above the Chimera, avoiding its fiery breath. He then plunged a block of lead into the monster's mouth, suffocating it. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the fascinating world of the Chimera. I hope that this video has shed some light on this iconic mythical beast and helped you appreciate its place in our cultural history. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment below to let me know your thoughts. Once again, thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing more exciting content with you in the future. Yours truly, Mythos the historian.